dear students welcome to s dot math guru classes so today we start the non homogeneous linear equations uh, last video up to 10 1 to 10 videos uh, it was given linear homogeneous uh, partial differential equation now if it is non homogeneous how to solve the problem suppose uh, this is non homogeneous linear equation if we get this type of equation d this type of equation d m d dash minus a z d is equal to 0 this type of equation then for solving this solution of the equation directly it has a proof but i left the proof just we have to remember that as a formula so solution will be z equal to this last number is minus a we write e to the power a x phi y plus m x this will be the solution z equal to e to the power a x phi y plus m x this a we write power of e and this m we write here this is the solution if this type of non-homogeneous this is non-homogeneous because here we get constant term so this is non-homogeneous so if we get this type of equation then solution is this by it has a proof directly i have written this one now another form if we have this uh, if we get d m d dash minus a whole square z equal to zero if we get this type of form this is d m d dash minus a this whole square z equal to 0 then solution will be z equal to its solution will be z equal to e to the power a x phi y plus m x this is phi 1 the whole square given phi 1 and this is x e to the power a x phi 2 y plus mx so this is our solution e to the power x this a we write here phi 1 y plus this m y plus mx and this whole square means roots are equal then we get x e to the power a x phi 2 y plus mx if we get this type of problem we solve in this way now let us consider some problem consider this problem solve d plus d dash minus 2 d plus 4 d dash minus 3 z equal to 0 so this equation when you get this type of equation we always express in the form of this in the form of this d minus m d dash minus e z in the form of this d minus m d dash minus a z equal to 0 if we get this then we get z equal to solution will be z equal to e to the power a x phi y plus m x this m we write here with x m x this is the solution now this equation given plus this is plus given we express in the form of this the equation can be written as can be written as this is d minus minus 1 d or minus d minus 2 d minus minus 4 d dash this is dash minus 3 z this equal to 0 so this is in the form of d minus m d dash minus a d minus m d dash minus a z equal to 0 so the solution will be therefore the solution is we can directly or separately we can solve this one z equal to 
first one uh, if we compare with this a x a means 2 minus a this is minus 2 e to the power twice x phi we consider two results we have we consider one is phi y minus actually if it is minus m then we get plus m but here we get minus minus so one this is one one x plus for this we get e to the power twice x phi to y minus 4x we get this one y minus 1x this one and y minus 4x original formula if it is minus then we get plus but here plus given we get minus minus this minus is m minus 1m and minus 4 is m so this is the solution or we can write z equal to e to the power twice x phi 1 y minus x this 1 x is x e to the power twice x phi 2 y minus 4 x and this is our final answer in shortcut you can write this result this is the final answer now we consider another problem d plus 3 d dash plus 4 whole square z equal to 0 if you get this problem then we know this formula we have to remember this d minus m d dash minus a whole square z equal to 0 if you get this then the solution is z equal to e to the power a x phi y plus m x plus x e to the power a x phi 2 this is phi 1 this is phi 2 y plus m x we get this e to the power a x phi 1 y plus m x x e to the power a x phi 2 y plus m x we know this so if whole square given we write in this way and the form must be d minus m d dash minus a now solution here plus given both are plus given but we convert in the form of this so solution the equation can be written as d minus minus 3 d dash minus minus 4 whole square z equal to 0 we comparing with this d minus m d dash minus a this so m means this one this is our m and this is a we get a therefore the solution is this on our solution z equal to e to the power a x z equal to e to the power a x a means minus 4 minus 4 x phi 1 y plus m x m means minus 3 so minus 3 x x e to the power minus a x this is the plus a x and here we get minus 4 x phi 2 y plus m x m means minus 3 this is minus 3 x and this is our final answer e to the power 4 x minus 4 x phi 1 y minus 3 x plus x e to the power minus 4 phi 2 y minus 3 this is the final answer with comparing with this we get this one reason consider another problem this is cousin of previous problem solve d minus 2 d dash plus 5 to the whole square z equal to 0 again comparing with this d minus m d dash minus a whole square z equal to 0 then solution is this one 
so we comparing with this first b so solution the given equation equation can be written as d minus 2 d dash minus minus 5 whole square z equal to 0 we comparing with this this is d minus m m means minus 2 and a means minus 5 this is our m this is a therefore the solution therefore the solution is z equal to e to the power a x a means minus 5 minus 5 x phi 1 y plus twice x m means 2 here minus m then we get plus m here minus 2 we get plus 2 plus x e to the power minus 5 x phi 2 y plus twice x we get this is the answer very nice solution very easy very interesting also this is our solution consider these problems how to solve this problem these are very easy very simple very interesting also so if we get this type of non-homogeneous linear equation then you always uh, remember this formula d minus m d dash minus a z equal to 0 then solution is z equal to e to the power a x phi y plus m x if we get this equation then we get this is the solution now first number one we consider uh, the equation the equation one can be written as this is d minus d dash minus zero and d minus minus d minus three z equal to zero first you consider this portion d minus d dash m means one m means one and a means zero so the solution therefore the required solution is z equal to e to the power a x a means 0 e to the power 0 x phi we have two results you consider phi 1 y uh, if it is minus m then we get plus m this is 1 x this one plus this is e to the power twice x phi 2 y uh, this one minus 1 x we get this so this implies z equal to e to the power 0 means 1 phi 1 y plus x e to the power twice x phi 2 y minus x and this is our final answer so answer is this is uh, phi 1 y plus x plus e to the power twice x phi 2 y minus x and number 2 we consider the equation 2 can be written as 
we always express in the form of this d minus m d dash minus a. So, this is d minus d dash minus 1. This is no problem in the form of this. And this is also same problem t minus d dash minus 2 z equal to 0. So, same given. So, here a means 1 and here a means 2. So, therefore, the required solution required solution is z equal to e to the power 1 x phi 1 this is m means 1 y plus x e to the power twice x phi 2 y plus x we get this number 2 we get e to the power 1 x or simply x this phi 1 y plus x e to the power twice x phi 2 y plus x we get this solution next number 3 we consider the equation 3 can be written as d minus so we consider curly bracket d minus minus d dash minus 1 d minus minus 2 d dash minus 2 z equal to 0 just comparing with this d minus m d dash minus a z so d minus m this is a d minus m this is a therefore the required solution is z equal to e to the power 1 x phi 1 y minus x here you get m means minus 1 y minus x plus e to the power twice x this is a a minus a then you write a x so this is 2 twice x and phi 2 y minus twice x m means minus 2 so we get this result uh, e to the power 1 x 1 x is directly write simply 1 phi 1 y minus x plus e to the power twice phi 2 y minus twice x and these are the answer this is one answer this is another answer this is another answer so these are the record solution of the given if so there is students if we have non-homogeneous linear differential equation then we have to solve in this way so next class we shall solve some problems if right side is non-zero here we get only right side is zero right side zero ultimately we can easily solve this problem if right side is non-zero what will be the result so we will solve some most the problem so today i want to stop here there is students if you are getting interest then please share this video to other engineering friends and bsc major also this type of friends and if you are interesting uh, getting interest then please like this video also and click the bell icon thank you